Hi, Air Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for January 24th through the 31st. This is for all the Air Signs, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate with you. That's okay. It may not just be for you this week. If they don't, or even if they do, and you would like more clarity, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store and just reach me on there, Moon Pie Tarot. If you don't have that, uh, well, if you do, you can just call me on there or send me a text message if you have questions. If you'd like a full personal recorded video reading from me, just go to my website, moonpietarot.com. Okay, um, I haven't done these weekly readings in a while and I've had been getting some requests to do them, so I thought I'd try to incorporate them. I, I can't promise that I'll be 100% consistent with them um, because I'm just always crazy busy, but I do have your February readings uh, being prepared to come out within a few days, hopefully the 26th, if not, maybe a bit after that, I'll do my best with that. So let's get started with your reading. I'm going to start with the singles. And then I'm going to reshuffle the deck and do the couples, okay? So for those of you who are single, you have absolutely no one in your life. Or you do have someone on your mind, but they're not exactly in your life. Uh, not maybe 100% or not in your life romantically. So let's see what the energy is for you for air signs. Singles. Okay, starting off with Temperance. Oh, the Two of Cups. Six of Pentacles. The Eight of Swords. Hmm, the Nine of Swords. And your overall energy. Ooh, the Devil. Okay, Air Signs, what's going on here? Um, so... The overall energy is the devil. <laughs> so some of you, uh, you've got some kind of a sexual attraction to someone. Or you've got someone coming in who could be a Capricorn. Uh, some of you may have a Sagittarius. So the devil card... <laughs> I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. He's got that phallus. <laughs> so he's either this is someone new coming in for you that's wanting the D, or this is you <laughs> kind of like worshiping that right now. I'm just going to, my, my weeklies are pretty candid, so I'm just going to give it to you straight here. Um The overall energy for the week is sex. That's really what I feel. Or some kind of like a addiction kind of stuff going on. Um, uh, some kind of situation that maybe you are just thinking a lot about or you're obsessing over, um, especially this week. Okay. Um, now, this is a love reading. This could also have something to do with, you know, greedy and love, addicted to love, feeling envious of other people's relationships, um, you know, feeling compelled to either be with someone or have sex with someone or, or you know, hook up with someone, that kind of, that kind of thing going on. Okay, or this is the energy of another person. Okay, it could be a Capricorn, but it could just simply be another person. Okay, um, or the Sag, like I said. So Temperance is here. So I see you this week. You know, Temperance is perfect because this card's about you know, kind of like you know, settling down a little bit. You need to just chill. Um, you need to like balance yourself out. You you could be having a hard time focusing on work because of this energy that's coming through or you know mm, you're trying to get together with someone or someone's trying to get together with you 
And so they could be coming across this way and, and you could be just like telling them, yo, relax, hold on, just like settle down a little bit because you have the two of cups here. So I, I feel like this is, you know, another person. Uh, either this is another person that wants to, you know, make a union with you or you with them. Now the devil sits under the six of pentacles. Uh, that's a card about reciprocity. I'm seeing like a lot of sex this week. <laughs> so that's a card about reciprocity. And if you don't know what that means, that's about giving and taking and sharing in something. Um, so for those of you who are not in a partnership or you've been thinking about someone, something might occur this week where there's, you know, this getting together kind of thing happening or or just feeling that energy happening. You know what I mean? Um, you there's a lot you know there's a lot of generosity so if you're if you're having uh, if you're in a sexual thing with someone or even if you're not um there's that feeling of wanting to give to another person uh intimately and not and it's not just sex i mean the devil card can represent some kind of a bond okay so it's also on an emotional level as well Okay, so this can kind of go either way. There could be like a, a sexual uh, thing that happens or some kind of an emotional connection that also gets made along with this energy here. Now, towards the end of the week, you have the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So um, for some of you, the Eight of Swords could represent a feeling of... Um, maybe restriction. There could be a situation with this other person where uh, maybe they're, they're extremely possessive and uh, they restrict you in some way or um, this is you, your energy with this person because there's such a strong attraction. You may try to restrict this person from maybe being with another person. And you may do that by way of manipulation as far as, you know, uh, giving and giving and giving or paying a lot of attention. It's not necessarily bad. I always say manipulation is not bad if it's done for the right reasons, right? So, for example, I heard someone once say uh, on YouTube, another tarot card reader say that, you know, we manipulate our hair. When we wake up in the morning, we brush it, we do the things that we do. It's just because you want to look good. So that energy could be playing out too. Um, be careful though if you're getting, um, if you're intra, if you have a strong attraction to someone who's already in another relationship, you might want to watch out for that as well because that might it could cause a lot of anxiety and stress for you and for the other person. Okay, so that might be something that you need to find out, but I am seeing some type of a union happening here. Is it a reunion? Mm, I don't think so. Unless you know, unless there's someone that you're thinking of that you've had a very strong sexual uh, uh, bond with in the past that could that could be reoccurring or you could just be thinking about it, but I, I don't think it's, I kind of feel like this person, whoever it is that's coming in for you, uh, I feel for most of you, this is someone new. It's not like someone from long, 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 long time ago. This is something, someone fairly new. Um, it could be a friend, but I feel more strongly that this is someone that, you know, you're just like either your head. I feel actually, I'm going to be honest with you. You're both kind of going to be head over heels for each other. There's a strong sexual attraction here and there could be um, a sharing of emotions with each other. 
about that or about the bond that there that there that there that exists or that can exist between the two of you um, someone may have had an attraction to you or vice versa for quite some time and now maybe this week it comes to a head you know but this nine of swords energy i just feel like you kind of have to pay attention to that because there's a bit of anxiety going on with this person i don't feel like they're going to reject you um but i feel like there could be something maybe you find out this person uh, has a set, uh, another a significant other and that causes anxiety or stress or uh, you know something could come through where the situation is restricted for now it can't really follow through there could be communication about these things but it can't actually happen this week which causes a bit of stress and that's why the advice really is for you to temper yourself and for the other person to temper themselves as well you know just to chill uh, especially if it's not so there could be emotions exchanged about that devil card but uh, and and exchange is also here with the six of swords or six of pentacles but you, the energy is that there needs to be it needs to be tempered because it may not be able to get off the ground this week okay so that's for you singles and now i'm going to go to the couples so this is for the air signs aquarius libra gemini uh couples so in a relationship exclusively dating married engaged uh but you certainly can listen to the reading, uh, both of them. It's up to you. I, can, I certainly can't stop you. Um, just try not to fill in holes with ideas and assumptions. If this doesn't resonate for you, then it's just not your week. That's all it is. And you can listen to your monthly readings. Maybe that would help. Uh, and, and, and people say, well, why do you guys always say that? Why do you say, well, go and check your, your sun, your moon, your rising? Because it's so general. I'm speaking to so many people, so many listeners. And I know people say, well, we all can't have the same exact thing happening. Well, no, not all of you do. And that's why out of 28,000 subscribers, only 100 people are commenting on this reading. Because for only 100 of you, it resonated. So that's why personal readings are the ones you take into account more than anything um so i just wanted to share that with you all right so let's get started for your weekly reading for the air sign couples january 24th through the 31st 2018 sun moon rising or venus and this is for oh look temperance is here again in the same position so listen to your singles if you skipped over the single and now the two of wands versus the two of cups was here strength ten of cups the high priestess and the two of pentacles is the overall energy and the person that you're dealing with has the four of swords and the emperor okay i want to say straight off the bat for you ladies you could be dealing with an aries okay or you're dealing with um someone who really has their shit together <laughs> you know their um authority type figure or this person likes to be in control um, they're respected, well respected. Some of you are dealing with um, people who work in public service, politicians. You could be dealing with uh, police officers, detectives. You could be dealing with, you know, lawyers. People who, um, well, lo lawyers aren't usually well respected, but you're you're dealing with someone who uh, could be in the military. Um, and this is someone who's very strategic in their planning. 
okay so that is their energy it doesn't have to be an Aries okay now uh, it, and this could be male or female okay it, it could also just be someone who is they don't have to be any of those things as far as work career goes this is just someone who is basically the head of the household right so male or female since this is a general reading uh, and doesn't have to be an Aries it could just be someone who you know they sit on their throne they sit on their own throne they they built their own throne you know it's their castle they're very confident and you have a lot of respect for this person now with the four of swords being next to them I feel like this person's often quiet or they're in solitude a lot of the time or at least this week <laughs> they are uh, they could be retreating from you during this time period uh, maybe because they're working or they just have you might be trying to talk to them or they're trying to speak with you uh, or there's some type of communication that could be going between the two of you um, but it's like not enough that kind of thing happening so the overall energy though for you is and for you and the other person is the two of pentacles and I feel like this is a, a kind of a a weighing the options type of situation you may have to be making a decision or a choice about a relationship or your partnership okay this last card can be just about juggling not juggling two people I don't feel like that's happening I just feel like you and the other person because if it was more than if, if there was a third party we'd have a three card so it's a two it's it's a the twos are always about partnership uh, so you could be dealing with someone that you're working with um, there could be a partnership with another person where there's energy of trying to juggle something in this relationship or in this partnership um, you're starting off with temperance similar to where you were in the singles and this is an energy about you know finding that perfect balance and finding that harmony that you need to uh, uh, that you're being called to find or called to reach it's really about self-control and you're you and the other person needing self-control and moderation because of this two of wands here there's again about partnership this two of wands is kind of like you know waiting for results are making an, again another decision or another choice having to choose some of you could be dealing with a Leo okay with the strength card here so the two of wands you know it's like there could be travel plans that need to be made or trying to make things happen with you and the and your your person uh, trying to balance budget or, or balance the finances or come up with money for something for perhaps a trip but or you know there's some type of connection with the two of you where you're both waiting for something waiting for a result or waiting for something to come about to happen um, you know isn't it interesting in this deck the strength card this is the Leo card, but she's wrestling a bull. <laughs> she's not wrestling a, a lion. So I think that's a bull. Oh, you know what I think that is? That's not a bull. That's one of those. Uh, I forget what they're called. It was in the Lion King. What was that? Timon and Pumbaa. I guess Pumbaa. What is it? Like a hog? Some kind of a hog? <laughs> she's trying to hog tie him is that what you're trying to do are you trying to hog tie your partner Air, Miss, mr. or mrs. air sign um, strength is about taking control and taming the situation right so there's something going on in your your um, your connection with this person where trying to maintain positivity maintain uh, 
good works, good health, confidence, uh, self-love, you know, um, maybe there's something going on in your connection with your person where someone needs to practice more self-love as well. And maybe you're dealing with someone who helps you with that or vice versa, right? Because it's awesome. You have the Ten of Cups here. And the Ten of Cups is a card about, you know, hello, having that um, uh, maybe marriage with children, a family reunion. There could be planning a trip for a family reunion. Not, not taking the trip, but planning the trip. Although, sometimes the Two of Wands, well, no, it's not right. Really, maybe the Three of Wands would be about travel, but there could be talk or discussion uh, about uh, some type of a reunion or getting together with someone that's a lot of love, it's a supportive energy. Um, so I feel like whoever the person is, I, I really feel like for a lot of you that you are trying to plan a trip with your partner or trying to uh, figure things out, but the other person may not really be saying anything to you or really sharing. They're kind of closed up a little bit. Uh, and even with the high priestess, they have some kind of a secret that they're keeping either from you or just in general. The, I don't feel like you're being suspicious about anything, but I do feel like you are wanting to connect with someone but they're not fully giving you everything that you you need to come up with a result. You know, uh, both of you definitely agreeing on things and supporting each other. But there's there's something I, I'm gonna have to I have to do it. There's something that the other person or there's something either you're not telling this person. You're keeping some kind of a secret from them, or they're keeping a secret from you. Uh, you, may, you know, you could just be kind of going with the flow because you are, of course, crazy about your partner, but you're, there's something not being said. And I'm just going to clarify because I'm curious to know. Um, there's some kind of a mystery... <laughs> I'm just curious to know what is this mystery again well, let's answer the mystery card with another mystery card okay the moon secrets illusions fear uh, are you holding something back from another person that is the reason why they're maybe trying to get you to speak but you're not really doing it Maybe you don't feel like you owe them an explanation, or maybe you just are not, maybe you're fearful to open up and tell the truth. I'm going to clarify it one more time. How dare I? But there's just something, you know, I feel like needs to be said. Weird. <sighs> Page of Pentacles. You need to be, you need to be, communicating you or the other person whoever's holding the secret there's going to be some communication about the facts facts need to be told uh, maybe that's why there's this energy of temperance trying to like kind of just keep all right like let's chill here let's chill you're not ready there's something you're not ready to admit or they're not ready to admit and uh, even though I feel like both of you are trying to kind of like make things work or, or work it out together or stay together in some way because there's a strong bond here I feel uh, there's just something missing and so if I was going to caption the couples reading I would have to say that you know the truth needs to come out there's something hidden and someone's fearful to say something okay about the relationship but you you if you have something you need to say to the other person you've got the supportive energy here with this ten of cups so I feel like if you've got something you have to or want to tell them I feel like you can trust that person and vice versa they can trust you so it's interesting how this kind of played out this very strange reading um, 
you are definitely dealing you are dealing with, with this emperor energy this is someone who's very trustworthy and i know i said politician and lawyer so they're not all bad um this person is very trustworthy okay so if there's something you need to tell them do it while wow, your reading's going really far or vice versa if you're cross watching and you have something you need to tell your air sign partner this is the week to do it because i feel like they want to talk to you they want to hear something something's missing don't be fearful okay air signs that was your reading uh i'll have your february readings out soon hope you guys have a great week take care bye